Question 14. This spinner is divided into 9 equal sections. So it's out of 9. It says, which two different numbers on the spinner are equally likely to come up? Well, we've got four possible numbers that can come up. We've got the number 1, number 2, the number 3, or the number 4. So what we're going to do is going to write the chance of each number coming up. Well, how many number 1s are there? Well, there's one there and another one there. So that's 2. So that's 2 out of 9. Another way you might like to write it is as a fraction, 2 ninths. The number 2, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 is 5 out of 9, or 5 ninths, if you like. Number 3, there's only 1 3 there, so that's 1 out of 9, or 1 ninth. And the number 4 is the last one that we haven't put any dots on yet, it's that one, so there's only 1 out of 9, which is 1 9. So which two numbers are equally likely to come up? Well, we've got 2 out of 9, 5 out of 9, 1 out of 9, and 1 out of 9 again. So it's these two numbers, 3 and 4. So that's what we write in the answer box. For the second part of the question, it says Mira says that 2 has a greater than even chance of coming up. Explain why she is correct. Well, even chance means half chance. And basically, what we need to say is that the number 2 has a 5 out of 9 chance. So, 2 has... 5 out of 9 chance and 5 is greater than half of 9. So if you do half of 9 you would actually get 4.5. So because it's 5 out of 9 that's bigger than 4.5 out of 9 therefore it has a greater than half chance. So therefore this is greater than half or even chance.